not in the great condition, is it? Um, I, uh, why did I buy this? Because it's a pocket size. I don't normally buy pocket size file faxes, but it just intrigued me as to just how how poorly this particular file fax domino has has uh, has uh, lasted. Um, it's obviously been used in anger, but uh, the the. Uh, ruler dates from 2006, the dividers date from 2009, so uh, between 10 and 15 years old perhaps, but a very, very interesting one. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not in that, I don't like it when these file faxes are in, 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 a, in such a poor condition, because I have a hunch my hunch is that I mean that's that's it's very rare to see one online, uh, Filofax, Facebook Messenger, uh, Vinted, etc. I I I haven't seen one that bad. I haven't seen that one that bad at all. So I suspect that when they do get that bad, and clearly uh, they can get that bad, as we can see, uh, they just get thrown away rather than sold on. Which um, well, that's my hunch. Anyway. Um, so uh, I, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am quite flabbergasted as to, as to just how much wear that has taken. Um, there's a lot of uh, talk on on uh, social media about people's people expressing disappointment. Oh, there's a little spider here, um, expressing uh, disappointment when their when the uh, their Filofax is uh, is starting to peel like that uh, but i've never seen one this bad and i'm not a fan of these elasticated loops because as you can see with this one when they get used after a certain time they go all floppy like that which is no good at all um it's just not up to the job uh, rings are surprisingly good, perfect alignment, and they open and shut cleanly, so that's good. Um, and I'm also not a fan of these elasticated pen loops either, because they tend to stretch as well. As well, excuse me. Um, but there we go. An interesting, very very interesting binder. Um, and uh, I. Um, I mean, I, I'm uh, obviously I'm I'm not comparing like for like because uh, some th this 50-year-old binder I have is it just gets better and better and better. Whereas a modern binder, at least some binders, in my opinion, just just get worse and worse and worse, which uh, kind of um, which isn't good because. A lot of people, I imagine, including me, get get attached to their binders. It would be a shame if someone throws away a binder because it's it has it's no longer aesthetically pleasing to them. But I'm waffling now, so I'll uh, I've said my piece. Um, I would definitely like to see a return to um, construction that isn't bonded. It isn't. It isn't based on a thin layer um, of leather or some other man-made material bonded onto a, a man-made substrate because there is that risk, isn't there? That risk that the top layer will be so thin that it will, it will peel. Anyway, so I will, uh, I will leave my, I'll, I, um, I'm just lost for words, really. I, I just can't. I just cannot believe just how bad that is with a capital B. Um, inter interesting exercise. It only cost me a few pounds. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, uh, but uh, I might even uh, I might even um, give it away to a worthy cause at some point. Um, either donate it to my local charity shop or or some other. Uh, some other option um i'll think about that um but anyway thank you for watching once again and uh 
I will have another video for you very shortly. Until then, goodbye.